Yo, what's going on, bro? Welcome back. I am glad to see you. Today, we're going to be assembling the head and getting it onto the engine block. And then in the next episode, we're going to be putting all the engine covers on to the engine. And that also includes the uh, timing components. So subscribe to stay tuned for that. And also, if you enjoy my content, hit that like button. Just do it right now. Just hit that like button. Just hit it. Did you hit it? Okay, and then follow me over on Snapchat so you can stay up to date on uh, the build in between YouTube videos. And without further ado, let's dive in. Go back, 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 back. All right, so here's all the parts that's going in. Obviously, we got the head. Then we've got all of our valves, kept them all organized. Then we've got all of the washers and bolts. These are the washers for the head bolts. And these are the bolts for the uh, cam caps. Then we've got our intake and exhaust cam caps. We've got the intake and exhaust valve lifters, hydraulic lifters. Got our two cams over here. We've got all of our intake and exhaust springs along with the intake and exhaust keepers. And then lastly, uh, the one part that we have to buy and use, valve stem seal set. Two other parts I forgot to mention are the head gasket and the head bolts because we're gonna need to attach the head to the engine block. A list of all parts and part numbers will be down in the description. And we're just gonna be using some uh, engine assembly lube, some brake clean, and then some motor oil, because I'm going to soak our hydraulic lifters in motor oil and kind of swish them around just to rinse them. Um, I want to make sure they stay full of oil because they actually have some oil inside of them, but I want to replace their old oil that's inside there with new oil that's fresh and clean. Um, and we're also going to be kind of blowing some things out and rinsing things with WD-40. So first thing, I put all of the hydraulic lifters into my little basin, and I poured some motor oil in there, swished it around back and forth, made sure to keep the exhaust and intake sides separated from each other just in case if there is a difference. Although I don't think there is, but better safe than sorry. Now let's get the head assembled far enough to put it onto the block. There's a sequence you need to follow, and you can't mix up the steps. They have to happen in order in this fashion. First, we need to get all of the valve spring backing plates on, the ones that sit all the way down deep in the head. Then we need to get our valve seals and press them all into place. I'm using a valve seal removal and installation kit that I got, I believe, on Amazon. Um, you should be able to find it anywhere, though. It's just a valve seal uh, removal and install kit. And make sure, as you're installing the valve seals, that you lubricate them with a little bit of motor oil. I used just a little cup and poured a little bit of motor oil in and then poured all my valve seals in there and pulled them out of the little cup as I went along. Then keeping our valves organized, we're going to slide them in one by one into the intake and exhaust and make sure that you use engine assembly lube or motor oil on the valve stems to make sure that they're lubricated inside of the head. Once we have all of our valves in the head, we should be able to turn this thing over and the valves will not start to slip out. They should be held in place with the valve seals. So. Before we move on to putting the head on the block and bolting it down, we need to make sure that the holes in the block where the head bolts tighten into, we need to make sure that they're clean inside of there. So what I did is I sprayed some WD-40 into each one, used a brass brush on my drill and drilled each one out, and then used some brake clean and compressed air to blow them out once they were cleaned with the brush. I used a rag to make sure I didn't blow it everywhere and get it into any oil passages or coolant passages as best I could. Now we need to get our head bolts and get our head gasket and our head block aligning dowels. There's two of them. And first insert our dowels into the block, set the head gasket onto the block through the dowels and set the head onto the block on top of the head gasket. Make sure the mating surfaces of the head and block are both very clean. You don't wanna have any debris or oil here. Then grab your head bolt washers, cover them with some oil and then put them into the head. Next, grab all 14 of your head bolts, take them out of the bag, wipe them off, make sure there's no dust or anything on them, and then one by one, take a little bit of anti-seize, I'm using some high temperature copper anti-seize, and paint just a little bit on the tip of the bolt, and then slide it down through the head and thread it into the block, and just get it finger tight. So to tighten the head bolts, this goes in steps and in a sequence. So the sequence for tightening these bolts, if you look at the head from the side, there are seven columns of bolts. You start from the center column, which is column four, tighten those, and then go to the column to the left, which would be column three, 
and then you go to the column to the right, which is column 5. Then you go further to the left, which is column 2, and then you go to the right, which is column 6. Then you go to the left again, and you go to column 1, and then you go to the right again, and you go to column 7. So you work your way out from the center. And the steps that we go in, first is going to be snug with a ratchet, then 55 newton meters, which is 40.5 foot-pounds, then you go 90 degrees, and then plus a second 90 degrees, for a total of 180 degrees. Now we need to attach the valves to the valve springs. So we're going to grab our valve compressor kit, and throw everything onto the head. So match what I do. Place your bar the way that I have mine placed, and place the peg in your hand tool the way I have it placed. Then take your spring and the top spring retainer, put them into the, onto the valve, and then put the two valve keepers into the hole before you put your hand tool on to compress the spring. Then you compress the spring down and just use a small flathead screwdriver that's not magnetic and just wiggle the keepers into place and then let up off the spring compressor. And in my case, I used a little chisel and a hammer. It was actually a punch. And in my case, I used a punch and a hammer and I lightly tapped the valves all along to make sure that the keepers are all the way in place. Now I take a little bit of assembly lube and use my finger to wipe it around inside of each chamber where the hydraulic lifters go. Then I grab the tub full of hydraulic lifters and I put each of them into the head. Next, I wipe down the camshafts to make sure that there's no dust on them or anything. And I take my assembly lube and I squirt it into each of the bearing races in the head where the cams sit. I wipe it around, make sure it's nice and evenly distributed. And then I lay the camshafts down inside of the head. So to get the cams tightened down, you want to use cam caps 2, 3, and 5. And rotate the camshafts roughly into the same orientation that I have here. This was the easiest orientation I found to get the cams pushed down with the cam caps. Remember to dip the cam cap bolts into a little bit of oil to lube up the threads and then use some excess oil that wants to drip off of the bolt and wipe that around the shoulder of the cam cap where the bottom shoulder of the bolt is going to ride against as you tighten the cam cap down. And then you slowly and evenly torque down each of the cam caps with a ratchet and then get it down snug. Once you have these cam caps down snug, then you can grab the rest of the cam caps and put them onto the cam and tighten them down snug as well. Make sure to use assembly lube across each cam cap before you put them on. Then once you have all the cam caps tightened down snug, now you want to tighten them to 21 newton meters and that's 15.5 foot-pounds and make sure to go across them several times and make sure that they all have reached the correct torque because I found that as you tighten some others would come loose. Make sure to do this as evenly as possible until everything is to torque. And that's that. The head is now assembled and on the block. Now we just need to do the timing, get the oil pump on, and put all the covers on the engine and the engine will be done. That'll be coming up in the next episode so subscribe to stay tuned be sure to add me over on Snapchat, here's my link. And leave a like if you're getting value out of this content, and comment down below if there's anything that you want to see or if you have any questions. And as always, I'll see you next time.